So in this video, I want to show you multiple ways to turn pages in Kindle. So the first way is obvious and is available on the Amazon Kindle. So it's just typing or swiping on the screen. And um, this is the only way that it is supported by Kindle, proper Kindles sold by Amazon. So all other ways will be introduced uh, on Android e -ink devices. So they are in the Kindle app in Android. So this is a Hisense A5. Obviously, uh, typing or swiping still works to turn pages. But this device is quite special. It has the volume button. It's a phone. It's an e-ink smartphone. So you can turn pages using the volume up and down buttons. So you can use this single-handed. Pretty straightforward, pretty convenient. So using this volume up and down would automatically filter out the page turning animation. So it's very good. So let's turn to MeBook. And uh, this is a 7.8 inch, much larger screen. And uh, of course you can still tap or swipe. But as you see here, um, there are some page turning animations unwanted on the ink screens. So it does not have the volume up and down, but you could use an adapter or you, you have a USB-C uh, wired uh, earpiece with the volume control. If that is the case, you can use here, you can, yeah, more, and uh, to choose the option in the Kindle Android app to turn pages with volume buttons. If that's turned on, you could, you should be able to automatically use that page turning remote to turn pages yeah it works so this similar to the Hisense will filter out the page turning animation and uh, it similarly worked on Android devices like uh, Onyx Books Note Air and uh, here I have the split screen it actually works on both sides on the Kindle side it will turn pages on the note side. It will also turn uh, pages of the notes. So here I have three pages of notes. It will turn. If you turn to next page beyond what's there, it will automatically create new pages. And uh, you can swipe between the apps to turn pages on Kindle or the notes. So the next way is to use a Bluetooth remote controller. So what I have here is a Logitech R500 and is supported by all these Android e devices. Just open up your uh, Bluetooth setting and uh, add a new device and connect it. And once you connect it, next time you use it is just uh, click here, click once on the controller. It will automatically wake it up. But if you connect it to multiple Bluetooth devices, it might get confused which one is connected to. So let's try it here. Yeah, it works pretty well. And also it will automatically filter out the page turning animation. So if you want, you can put your Kindle on a stand and use the remote to read. So on the Bluetooth side, you can also use a mouse, Bluetooth mouse or Bluetooth keyboard. So I have here a MX Master 3 and uh, you can connect it with your Android uh, ebooks. Okay, once you have connected, it should have a mouse cursor on the screen. It's not very easy to use on the e ink screen, but it works. So just uh, click on the side, it will turn pages. It's not the best way, but if you don't have a dedicated uh, page turning com controller, you can use your mouse. And uh, 2.4 gigahertz, that kind of non-Bluetooth wireless mouse should work as well, but uh, you would uh, need to have an adapter or something. So very similarly, you can use the Bluetooth keyboard. How connected to it? Okay, let me skip the connection process. Okay, it's connected now. 
for some reason, once connected to a Bluetooth device, it will automatically go to the A2 mode. Yeah, for a smoother, faster refresh. So I skipped it. And you can use the uh, arrow keys to turn pages. And uh, no cursor on the screen, so it's, I think it's better than a mouse. So, And uh, more people have a Bluetooth keyboard that works with this. So it's actually a pretty good remote controller. Of course, you can also use it to type your notes. So the R500 controller I have also support non-Bluetooth connection. So if you have a USB-C adapter, you can use it with your Android e-ink devices. So to sum up, for all Kindles, Amazon Kindles or Android Kindle apps, you can tap or swipe on the screen. For devices that has a physical volume up and down buttons on Android e-ink devices, you can configure the app to use the volume up and down to turn pages. And it will automatically filter out the page turning animation. For other devices, you can use Bluetooth controller, mouse, or keyboard. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.